Ryan Reynolds comes off as funny and comfortable when the bright lights shine on him, but he says he actually gets nauseous before every talk show appearance and genuinely feels like he might die. In an interview with the New York Times, the actor spoke of the crippling anxiety he still gets to this day. He's actually been struggling with it his whole life. In fact, he said he had a little bit of a nervous breakdown in 2016 after filming the first Deadpool movie. At the time, the actor thought he had a neurological problem. But doctors all told him it was anxiety. I have anxiety. I've always had anxiety, he said. Both in the light-hearted I'm anxious about this kind of thing. And I've been to the depths of the darker end of the spectrum. Which is not fun. Ryan said he's used meditation apps to help him. He also said that once it's showtime, he's usually okay. When the curtain opens, I turn on this knuckle head. And he kind of takes over and goes away again once I walk off set, he said. That's that great self-defense mechanism. I figure if you're going to jump off a cliff, you might as well fly. Katy Perry traveled to Rome with Orlando Bloom, and the pair got the chance to meet Pope Francis during the Unite to Cure conference. The singer recently won a court battle with a group of Los Angeles nuns over her purchase of their former convent. Miley Cyrus announced Sunday to her 160 million social media followers that she's definitely not sorry about posing backless on the cover of Vanity Fair when she was the tender age of 15. Now 25, the country pop diva is hinting that she felt pressure from her team in the Disney Channel, who scolded Vanity Fair for deliberately manipulating her to sell magazines. Don't Knock It, featuring straight rye whiskey, a straight bourbon, and a double-barreled whiskey. The Heaven's Door comes out next month, and then a distillery will open in 2019 in, where else, Nashville, Tennessee, the city where Dylan recorded four of his albums.